Hey everybody, my name is Pixel and welcome back to another episode of Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Now we are on night three. First night. Let me go play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. Pretty and shiny. Can you make her just for me? Just for you and you're going to find out why eventually. You're going to get up close and personal with... With Welcome baby, baby robot. Pivotal night of your thriving new career. Ah, uh, well, thriving really new night. Yourself, pressing buttons. What am I doing with my life? What yeah, what are you doing? Say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? <laughs> we Who knows? The stresses of a new job, and we press here all the for buttons you. to help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind. We offer several this, musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing. <laughs> this as is Five Nights at Freddy's button pushing jazz, simulator. Classical, Rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Hey, I like some. Using I like some heavy metal, metal some techno the music. Of the musical selection you would prefer. Uh, we're gonna have a tease. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. Couldn't I see nothing. what you're trying to type, and I will auto. My name is. For you. Is my name Mike, Thank or is this selected. thing's name Mike? Casual bongos. All right, bongos. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly Super relaxed, customized. it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, lackluster has been decreased by a substantial amount. Oh fuck Please you! Enjoy the rest of your descent. Fuck you! You're just an AI voice. You have no idea how amazing my work was yesterday. You know what? Maybe if you got your buttons right and working and your shit in order, you know what? Maybe my work wouldn't have suffered. But you know what? That's on you, buddy. And I'm gonna be coming for the rest of my paycheck. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm gonna be coming. I'm gonna be coming for it. Press the button. We're gonna listen to these bongos for a little bit more, though. You know what? Because it's bumping. Yeah. It's bumping. Uh-huh. It's bumping. Those bongos are bumping. Okay, let's go. Night three! Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. All right, I call that a promotion. It's for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. You still Let's work. check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. All right, Ballora, how you doing since yesterday? Oh, oh no, you. Great. It looks like everything <laughs> is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Ballora's not Let's looking too so good. Foxy. It's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. Bo Foxy, Foxy, how you doing? Oh no, you're not there. Great. It looks oh, like yeah. everything is as Great. it should be in Funtime Auditorium. Just peachy. There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Oh, uh, but I want to check on Baby. from entering unauthorized areas. You know what? Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. You know what? No, no. You're going to open up Funtime Auditorium and then tell me not to go there? No, f fuck you. Fuck you. I go where I want, boy. You know what? I work here. <laughs> I'm the one putting my life at risk over here, or am I? You know what? Everything's totally safe. I'm going to crawl in this vent, and you know what? There's not a damn thing you're going to do about it. You know what? Maybe there's some secret over here. Maybe there's a part two to that little mini game that I played the other day. <laughs> or should I say the other day? I mean, you know that I was on stage once? Oh, hi, baby. It wasn't for very long. Only one mm. day. One day. What a wonderful day, though. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. Very no good one memory. No sat at the tables, though. But children would run in and out. In and Some out. Some were afraid in of me. And out. Others enjoyed my songs. Who could be afraid of baby? Music was always coming from somewhere else. I mean, they were right to be and afraid of her. I would always count the children. I'm not sure why. Because apparently... I was always acutely aware of how many there were in the room with me. Two, two then three, then three, two, then two, three, then three, four, then two, four, then two, none. none. They usually played together in groups of two or three. I see that. I was covered in glitter. <gasps> I smelled like glitter. birthday cake. Birthday there cake! Two, then three, 
Then five, she smelled then four. Like birthday cake. I can do something special. Did you know that? What can you do? I can make ice cream. <gasps> ice cream! Although I, I like ice did cream. it once. Just once? There were four, then three, then two, then one. Uh, just one? Something happened when there was one. A little girl standing by herself. I was no longer myself. <gasps> and happened? I stopped singing. Uh oh. My stomach opened, and there was ice cream. Oh, no. I couldn't move, at least not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. Just a moment? Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. That's... I still hear her sometimes. That's grim. Why did that happen? I think that's the, uh... I think that's the little function that uh they were quite wary of you know something tells me that she's not particularly designed to make ice cream on a regular basis i think she's only designed to make ice cream to lure children lure a child to their death oh god what's Unlike going on Ballora, funtime foxy is motion activated for this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings, and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Okay. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. I can hear movement. her moment oh my god it's like down there oh that's the door <gasps> is that foxy I gotta listen for the footsteps. Nobody there. What's that? Nobody? I think I saw something move in the darkness. Might have been my own shadow though. Can I please get to the door now? I don't like this. Foxy's scary. <gasps> I just needed to move like a Push centimeter. Oh, whoa, whoa, hi, Great job Freddy. reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located <laughs> on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as uh, possible. I see button. Locate the small button, button on Freddy's button. face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Under his right cheek. So, I'm looking at him so right would be reversed? Great. Yeah, that's now his locate right. the button under his left cheek and press it. And left cheek. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Okay, his right eye. So that one right there. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. I mean, it's, is this the last <laughs> button? Oh, God. Shit. Good job. Oh, the my face God. plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Is it this right here? Oh, gosh. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great okay. work. Cool. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Okay, Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large uh -oh. black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. 
Where'd Bonnie go? Where is Bonnie? Where's Bonnie at? Uh, hello? Oh. I saw... Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where are you at? Oh, I see you. And Wabushki. Great Woo! job. You've acquired both power modules. Woo! This completes Damn, the task we're good. for the night. Please exit the building through Funtime Auditorium. You. And we'll see you back here again tomorrow. You are not a nice bunny. You're not a nice bunny rabbit. What happens if I stay in here? <laughs> Does anything bad happen to me if I stay in here? I push buttons I'm not supposed to. You know what? I'm not going to test it. <laughs> I'm not going to test it. We're just going to go. We're going to go. We're going to get out of here. <laughs> okay. We got to make our way back to the vent. Okay. Is this going to be just like the other one? Is Foxy going to leave us alone? I hear a little bit of movement, just like before. I hear footsteps. I don't see anything, though. Don't worry, Foxy. We're all friends here. We're all good, Foxy. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, come on! There was nobody in front of me! Foxy was not in front of me! How did it get... She can make balloons! Oh, wait, what? Have you seen her make balloons? It's oh, like the Daddy, thing that it... It's like the thing that they do at the beginning of the night? Oh, what the hell? Wait, I was supposed... Oh, shoot! I was supposed to get caught. Okay, so with that, we are going to leave that right there. Okay, that was that was a plot-driven death. Even though I would have made it completely across without ever crossing paths with Foxy, we were apparently supposed to die. We were supposed to die, so that's fantastic. We are getting so much lore. Apparently, Baby killed somebody. Did she kill the little girl that we keep on hearing at the beginning of each episode? Is the little girl the one person that she wasn't supposed to go to baby because apparently William Afton designed baby a specific way to, to protect its image. Apparently baby is only designed to lure and kill whenever there are nobody, whenever there's nobody around. It's why she was so advanced to be able to scan the environment, figure out how many children are in the area, and whenever there's just one child, she goes into attack mode. She's comp she's not remote controlled like some of the other ones were back in the beginning. She is completely AI driven, and she's programmed to attack and kill whenever there's only one, so there's no witnesses. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you liked this video, you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead, smash that like button. You want to see more content like this? You want to follow along with this series? See other videos that I've done? Go ahead, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, get notified when these videos drop. Thank you guys again for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.